I would like you to join me in discovering how easy it is to set up Delta's RMC-75 and RMC-150 motion controllers. I have already wired an RMC-75 to this hydraulic system, which has a servo quality proportional valve, a magnetostrictive transducer with start-stop output, a 500 pound load, and 24 inches of travel. The system is ready to be set up, tuned, and programmed. To begin, let's start RMC Tools and make a new project and call it our project. We will automatically connect to the RMC via our USB cable. The RMC appears in the list and RMC Tools automatically goes online and uploads all the information from the controller. The first step is to define how the physical hardware is assigned to the internal software axes. This is done in the axis definitions. This controller has one position pressure axis. The picture shows which hardware it uses. We want just a position axis so we can change it. We'll click Change, choose only one control loop for position control, and click OK. We'll have to wait while the RMC restarts and saves the changes to flash memory. The Axis Tools window shows us the axes with status information on the left such as the actual position and the voltage being sent to the valve. The right hand side contains parameters for setting up the axis. Now we need to test the valve and make sure it can move the cylinder. But first we need to enable the axis so we can send motion commands to it. In the command tool we can find the command we need, in this case the enable controller command and click send. You can look in the event log to see that the RMC received the command. To move an axis during setup we will use the direct output command to give a voltage to the valve. If we know the name of a command we can just type it in the command box. We'll use a small voltage to begin with to move the axis slowly. We need to make sure the cylinder moves on the entire stroke forward and also backward. To stop the cylinder, we send 0 volts with a direct output command. Now we need to configure the feedback. With a magnetostrictive transducer, called here an MDT, we need to set up the type. The data sheet says it is a start-stop. The MDT type parameter is already set to that, so we are good to go. Of course, the transducer data is not yet in meaningful units, but we will change that by launching the scale and offset wizard. The most accurate method is to use the transducer data. We'll scale this system in inches and the transducer label says the gradient is 8.8917. To figure out an offset we can leave this dialog open while we retract the cylinder all the way and call that negative 0.25 inches. That way, if we move to zero, it won't hit the end of the cylinder. Step four would only need to be changed if the transducer were mounted backwards. After clicking next, we can preview the new scale and offset values, and the next page lists all the parameters that we need to consider when changing the scale and offset, but we don't need to set them now. Clicking OK will apply the new values to the project. The yellow means that the contents of the project are different from the contents of the controller. To fix this, we must click the download button to apply the changes. Now as we move the system, we can see that the actual positions are in inches. We should move the axis along the entire stroke and verify that the positions are correct. Now we need to set the travel limits. We'll set them to 0 and 23.5 which is slightly less than the cylinder stroke. And, of course, we need to download the changes. We are almost ready to tune the system so we can move it in closed loop control. First, we need to make sure the axis position units increase when we give it a positive control output. Let's try it. Yep, it's fine. If it wasn't, we would need to set the invert output polarity parameter. Now on the Tune tab, we will launch the Tuning Wizard and choose Auto Tuning. After clicking Next, we'll accept the agreement and specify the number of moves. Since the hydraulic cylinder behaves differently in each direction, we need two moves.
This page gives us the details of the auto tuning move. Usually the default settings are fine. First, we'll click Move to Start and wait for the cylinder to move approximately to the starting position. Next, we'll click Move Positive. The cylinder will do a jerky move and RMC Tools will upload a plot. We repeat the same thing on this next page, moving to Start, clicking Move Negative, and uploading the plot. After finishing the wizard, the game calculator opens. It has a slider bar that lets us try out a range of gains. We will choose gains, move the axis, and see how those gains worked, and repeat it until we're satisfied. First, we need to set up the move buttons. We'll enter a move absolute command to a position of 2 for the first button, and a position of 10 for the other button with the same speed, excel, and decel values. Now, we'll move the gain calculator to view the plots easier. Pull the slider toward conservative and click Apply Gains. Clicking the Move button will move the axis and upload the plot. The blue line is the target position, which is where the axis is supposed to be. The red line is where the axis position actually is. The axis is not tracking very well, so we can pull up the slider a bit, apply the gains, and move the axis again. Now the axis is tracking very well. We'll move the axis again to make sure the other direction is good too. Wow! We set up the RMC and tuned this cylinder in less than 7 minutes. Now that the axis is tuned up, we can send motion commands from the command tool, such as this move absolute command to a position of 5, and continue our motion application. To learn more about that, see Delta's other videos and the RMC tools help.